hello everyone uh, how to solve this nice uh, radical equation so uh, here we have 4 plus 2 into square root of 3x plus 1 equals to 3 so here we find the solution of uh, this equation okay so here first <clears throat> we need to uh, isolate the radical term uh, and here for this we need to move this 4 to the right hand side so when we move this 4 to the right hand side it will be written as 2 into square root of 3x plus 1 equals to 3 minus 4 okay so here we get 3 minus 4 is equals to minus 1 so here uh, i can just <clears throat> tell you uh, a key fact about the radical equation so this key fact is applied in this equation okay so here you see that uh, <clears throat> the equation in which after isolating the radical term uh, if radical term is equals to a negative number such equation has no solution in real numbers okay so here we apply this nice uh, uh, radical uh, equation uh, this nice key fact about the radical equation so okay so according to uh, this key fact you see here if when we uh, uh, isolate the uh, radical term then it will be equals to negative sign so this is 2 into uh, square root of 3x plus 1 this means that uh, this equation uh, does not have a solution okay so but here um, for uh, your satisfaction i can just uh, solve this problem further and at the end uh, you clearly see that that uh, this equation has no solution okay so here uh, in traditional way to solving an equation uh, here we need to move this uh, 2 to the right hand side uh, so that when you move this 2 to the right hand side it will be written as 3x plus 1 equals to minus 1 over 2 and now here uh, after uh, uh, in, in you know about the traditional method now here we need to remove this radical sign in the left hand side so that now we need to take the squaring on both of the sides of this equation so when you take the squarings on both of the sides it will be written as this two and square root are cancelled by each other and we will get here 3x plus 1 equals to minus 1 square equals to plus 1 and 2 square equals to 4 okay so now after that we move this plus 1 to the right hand side so it will be written as 3x equals to 1 over 4 minus 1 okay so you see here uh, we need to take the LCM in the right hand side so when you take the LCM it will be written as uh, so its LCM becomes 4 and we get here 1 minus 4 so here you have 3x uh, similarly we move uh, this 3 to the uh, right hand side but here first we simplify the right hand side so 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 over 4 so here in order to remove this 3 from left hand side we need to divide both of the sides by 3 so we write it as 3 and here we multiply it by 1 over 3 uh, so you see that this 3 and 3 are cancelled by each other this 3 and this 3 are also cancelled by each other uh, so finally we get here the value of x is equals to minus 1 over 4 okay so this is the value of x so here uh, we need to verify this value of x uh, is uh, this value of x is satisfied the given equation or not but here i can already say about an important uh, key fact about radical equation so according to this key fact this equation has no solution it means that this value of x is not satisfied the given equation okay so here first we need to copy down the given question statement it is 4 plus 2 into square root of 3x plus 1 equals to 3 so here uh, we substitute this value of x in the left hand side so it will be written as 4 plus 2 into square root of 3 into x the value of x is minus 1 over 4 plus 1 equals to 3 so here further we need uh, to make some simplifications here and you see that 4 plus 2 into square root of here we take the LCM so its LCM becomes 4 and here we get minus 3 plus 4 equals to 3 so you get here 4 plus 2 into square root of 1 over 4 
because minus 3 plus 4 equals to 1 over 4 and this is equals to 3 okay so here further uh, you see that uh, the square root of 1 becomes 1 and the square root of 4 equals to 2 so we write it as 4 plus 2 into here the value of this term becomes 1 over 2 and this is equals to 3 okay so you see that this 2 and 2 are cancelled by each other so we obtain here 4 plus 1 equals to 3 so you have 4 plus 1 becomes 5 equals to 3 so you see that uh, in general 5 is not equals to 3 okay uh, so uh, you see here the value of uh, x is not satisfied the given equation okay okay so uh, you see that uh, the given equation has no solution or the solution set uh, or the solution of a given equation is phi or this is this phi denotes that the empty set okay so we call this uh, value of x uh, because this is not satisfies the given equation so we call this is the uh, extraneous root okay so we write it here it will becomes the uh, extraneous root okay so uh, here we a uh, little bit explain about the extraneous root extraneous roots are those roots which cannot be satisfied the given equation like you see here the value of x minus 1 over 4 and it is not satisfies the given equation so we call the this value of x is minus 1 over 4 is called the extraneous root but the given equation has no solution or the given equation has the empty solution so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos